Good morning. I'm leaving a lot later than I wanted to. I wanted to already be up in New York by now, but didn't sleep well last night. And uh, yeah, I woke up like four hours after my alarm. So this might turn into a two day trip because I doubt I'm gonna get much fishing done by the time I get up there. So we're getting a car loaded. Got the fly rod, the center pin spinning around. Um, we are headed up to New York, uh, Lake Ontario trips. We're trying for some king salmon, coho, brown trout. I'm sure once you get up there, everybody else see we'll be fishing in that Burt Dam. Um, we might go try the oak. Not sure. We'll see. See what goes on. But it's it's raining this morning, and it's moving right up that way. So I don't know how much I don't know how much rain I got last night, but. We'll see. So, we're almost almost ready. We're gonna jump in the car and uh, like about two and a half hour drive. And we'll see what it's like when we get up there. If fish is not any good today, then uh, I think I'm gonna stay the night. Uh, it's me and the fiance going. Just sleep in the car. Pull the back seats down. We got an SUV, so plenty of room in the back. So. Catch you guys when we get on the road. There's so many brown trout here. Zombie King right here. Little zombie. Got a guy came for a hook. It broke off. Sean. Foul hook. Off.
trying a little pink sack. It's that zombie king going up. Oh, there's another thing. Wow, this is a this is a whole new experience from fishing in Erie. This is this is not like Erie. I had a bite. Oh my god. Got one. Got one. A guy king. King on. Oh my god. Oh my god. What a heartbreak. I'm gonna have to bleep that. Ugh. Oh. Wow. What a heartbreak that was. What a heartbreak that was. Oh my god, he was in the mouth too. He was in the freaking mouth. Just put that bead on too. Oh, yeah. Alright. So I did catch a king in the mouth. And of course my GoPro was dead. So, ran up to the truck, grabbed the battery pack, went and grabbed some food on our way back down for round number two. Had a couple foul hooks. Uh, but the one king I did land was in the mouth on a 10 millimeter chartreuse bead. So, go back down and see if we can squeeze our way in somewhere. All right, so we got back up to uh, where we, where I was this morning. Still running that bead. Probably have to, might have to switch up. I try egg sack. There's a, there's a lot of salmon down this middle run right here. We got one. Was not ready for that whatsoever. Had that sucker in the mouth too. Dang, I was not ready for that. All right, let's roll. Leader number four, hook number six. Push on, in the mouth. Good hook, good hook. Good hook, good hook.
Basically, you just gotta wait for it to tire itself out. It looks like a big male. We don't want the males, but still, for my first first trip to Burt, this is a, this is fun. You definitely go through a lot more tackle than you do uh, steelhead fishing in your EPA. That's for sure. He knows he's hooked. He's pissed. It's in the mouth. Let's see how this 11 foot uh, Fish USA flagship light rod. That's right, 11 foot light on a center pin. Running 15 pound main line on a light rod. Let's see how it, see how it handles. Handled pretty good earlier on the uh, one mail that I landed earlier. Coming down. Fish isn't a total zombie yet. Coming down. This fish don't know what he wants to do. Come on. Sorry. Yeah, he's a good one. So, it's only the second one I ever caught. Yeah, today's my first day ever being here. Don't let it go, man. <laughs> Don't let it go. This is your first time fishing this like this? Yeah, I'm I'm from Erie, so I fish steelhead a lot, but I've never fished salmon. Man, this is like a fucking how many pounds? Yeah, this is a good one. Oh, you need help with that net? Yeah, I might. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me that. Ah. He saw you. Get him. There we go. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, man. I'm not This is real sad. Oh, I thought it was small, man. Yeah, oh, I got that to do. In the corner. Three. 
go. The mail, he's he's leaking all over the place. Nice fish. We're gonna we're gonna let him go. We're only here for the females. That's probably 15, 16 pounder. See if he'll go. Here he goes. All right, that's how we do it. All right, we just landed our second king of the day. It was another male. Hooked right in the corner of the mouth. Go over my setup. I'm running a Akuma Ra 2, 15 pound blood run mainline. Uh, Fish USA flagship, 11 foot light, five gram blood run float, 12 pound liter to a size eight or size six mustad hook to spawn sack. That was cool. Too bad it was a male. Let's see if we can get a female. Take home some eggs back to Erie. Fish on. There we go. It's in the mouth. I think this one might be a female. Who's that? Two fish and three drifts? Come on. Come on. Oh, I hope that hook doesn't pop. I think it's a female. I hope it's a female. I need to take some eggs home. Man, this this lot, light rod is putting in some freaking work today, I'll tell you. Wow, that was, that was a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. I mean, that was two fish and three drifts landed to one came back flicked it once nothing next drift boom pink egg sacks she knows she's hooked she just she don't want to help me out In the corner of the mouth, same as the last one. She doesn't want to move. I don't want to horse it and snap my rod.
think she, she's like she knows every time I go to get my net. It's a female, it's a female, there we go. Oh, a horser. Coming down. Oh. Fly in her mouth. Her teeth definitely aren't as big as the males that I had. Somebody had her in the mouth too with that egg fly. She broke them off. I'm surprised she didn't break mine. Got a little brownie. Here we go. Oh, here you guys go. 
brown trout on the pink sack. All right, now we're now we're up three kings to one brown. I'm gonna get my line on my reel all fixed. Get back out there on a pink sack. All both of those kings in that brown came on pink sack. Water's super dark here. Uh, the sunset behind that sunset behind that uh, hill over there. So I don't know. I figured a brighter color. And it's working. There's still kings all the way down through here. I'm gonna replace this sack. That was a lot, a lot of, a lot of dead eggs in it. Fix my float. They said I got these pink sacks at uh, bait shop here, bait shop here in Newfane, called Master Baiters. You can laugh. That's what it's called. Super nice people. They were, even though I was an out of towner, they were more than willing to uh, help me out with some with some info. Um, like what to use and stuff like that. So I highly recommend you guys stopping in there. He's uh, it's a 24/7 bait shop on a. They use the honesty system. We got boxes in there. Uh, different boards have a different cash box. He's got different people in there selling stuff. And uh, yeah, they got they got everything you need to come fish Burt. Come go fish the oak oak orchard. So I highly suggest you checking out there. And he's got a fish cleaning station, a free free fish cleaning station you can do it yourself or i think there's a guy that cuts fish like during the day so like i said i highly suggest you check them out my man over there across from me he is hooking up like crazy oh lost it this is fun once i figured out how to do everything this couple hours i was here hooked one one fair hook male i landed him had a couple that were foul hooked but kind of sitting here just watching what everybody's doing as far as like uh height wise from their bait to their float and colors and stuff like that i figured it out pretty quick people were that was fishing next to me earlier they're actually really nice too like i always heard everybody up here is douchebags but that's not that's not the case. We just missed that one. Slid our float right out of the right out of the tube. Let's give it a little, uh, a little peach action. See if we can get one on a peach. My man's over there hooked up again on a big old brownie. All right. Just had that fish foul hooked and took my whole rig. So that's unfortunate, but uh, it's getting dark here. We're probably gonna head out soon. We we brought everything to sleep in the car, but I think we might just end up going home back to Erie. We'll see.
but overall it was a good day i think i I went three for five. Unfortunately, only one of the ones I caught was a female. One of the ones I lost was a female. The other ones were males. It's all good though. I had a good time. It's all that matters. All right, I know it's dark. Had a good day today. Ooh, there's some light. We had a good day today. I went three for five on salmon here at Bird Dam, egg sacks. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna stay till tomorrow or what we're gonna do, but even if we do, this will finish up this video. So thanks everybody for watching. I know you can't see me, I know it's pitch black, but thanks everybody for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one, tight lines.